In this video, we'll go ahead and take a look at how we can do a little bit more advanced scripting within Maya to create a script that will create our three cameras and then hide our three cameras for us. So when we create a new scene, all we have to do is click that one button in order to use our custom viewport. So let's go ahead and take a look how we can do that. We'll open up the script editor. Let's go ahead and click the script editor window button. And then we'll go ahead and look at how we can create a camera. So again, everything you do in Maya, you can do and then watch it occur inside the script editor, right? That's the logic behind what we covered in the previous lesson. So let's go ahead and try it. We'll go up to panels. We will drop it down. We'll go to orthographic, go to new, and we know we needed a bottom camera. So let's go ahead and select bottom. And as I can see, I've created the bottom camera, but nothing was echoed. Well, sometimes if you run into this occurrence where you're trying to figure out what the script is for an action that you take in Maya and it doesn't echo, that means that it's a hidden command. You have to turn on echo all commands. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go up to history and we'll go ahead and check echo all commands. Now everything we do in Maya will be echoed into the script editor. So that means that anything I do from dropping down a panel to hovering over and opening up another panel window will also be echoed here. So everything you do in Maya now will be echoed. So we'll go to our orthographic, we'll go down to new, and I'm gonna try to take a mental note of just about how far down I am before I select the bottom camera. So I'll go ahead and select it. I can see I'm about five lines down. So I'll go ahead and select bottom. And I can see, okay, starting right about here is where it's created this camera. Well, the command for string camera, I'm just going to save us time and show you this first statement will create a camera. String camera equals, and then the flags for string camera is the command that you would use to create a camera. So go ahead and copy this and hit control plus V. Now, if you didn't know exactly what string camera did, again, you could just open up the documentation and look it up as we discussed in the previous video. You could also find out what each of these flags like dash in and dash HC do by going into the documentation, looking up string camera or camera and finding out what the flags are that camera accepts. Well, this creates a camera, but it doesn't really set the camera where it needs to be inside of our 3D space. So I can see the next command would be view set BO camera zero. So I'll go ahead and copy this and I can see that this one here is going to change the view set for this new camera that we've created. So we created a camera and then view set will set it as a bottom camera. So it will automatically create our camera, give it the name, as you remember, dash in from the previous video we discussed as a common flag. That means just about every command you do in Maya, a common flag can be applied to it. So we can see it's creating a camera, it's given it the name bottom, and we've set it to being a bottom camera. So now we know how to create a bottom camera by turning on echo all commands and pretty much just figuring out when we've created the camera, we just discern, kind of look through it and find out exactly what happened and what parts of this huge script we need in order to do what we want. So that's all I've done there. So let's go ahead and clear the window and let's create another camera. We'll go ahead and come up here, clear our window, then we'll come up here and create the back camera. So I'll drop down panels, go to orthographic, go to new, and I'll go ahead and select back. Again, I'm going to make a mental note about how far down I am inside the script editor before I select back. So I've created the back camera. I remember this was about how far down I was. So this line here will create our back camera. So that'll create the camera. And the next command, view set, will change the view for this camera that we've just created to being a back camera. So it'll automatically position it in the 3D space for us. Well, now we also needed a left camera. As you recall in our custom view that we created, we added a left side camera. So let's go ahead and clear our commands again and do it once more. We'll go up to panels, orthographic, new, and we'll select left. And we'll come over here again. We'll select the string camera for it as well as the view set. We'll go ahead and copy both those and then we'll just go ahead and paste them. And I'll clean it up a little bit by putting the view set on another line. And there we go. These three commands here will create our cameras and also set them at the position they need to be as a bottom, a back, or a left side camera. So it immediately create them and then position them inside the 3D space. Well, what else did we want to do? We also wanted to select the cameras and hide them. So let's go into our perspective view here and we'll see what is the command for selecting a camera and then hiding it. So I'll go ahead and clear this all and we could see if maybe this will echo out without the use of the echo all commands turned on. So I'll go ahead and go to history 
and I'll unselect that go all commands and I'll clear the window and I'll go ahead and select one of these cameras and I can see okay selecting the camera is select dash R left one so if I select this one this is select dash R back one so okay that's the command for selecting so I'll go ahead and select the camera and I'll copy this line here that'll tell me that's selecting the camera for me so I have control plus V and then I also want to hide this camera so if I hide it so I'll select it clear the window here select it and then I will hit control plus H uh oh again here we have another command that's not being echoed out so in order to solve that we'll just hit control plus C unhide our camera and then we'll clear the view here go to history and drop it down and go to echo all commands now we'll select our camera and I'll make a mental note of where I am and then I'll hit control plus H and that hides the selected object so I can see immediately I look through everything that happened whenever I hit it and I can see one command here is hide selected objects can you guess what that's gonna do I think I can so I'm gonna copy that one there and it's going to hide whatever I have selected so I can just go ahead and press enter select the next camera and I'll just go ahead and clear this up a bit so I don't need echo all commands anymore because now I know hide selected objects is the command that hides something so I'll go ahead and turn off echo all commands clear the window and then I'll go ahead and select the camera and I can see that that's the command for selecting that particular camera and I'll hit control plus V and I'll press enter again and I'll go ahead and hide the selected object so it will hide it and then I'll just do one more for the bottom camera so I'll type this one in I think I can figure out exactly what the command is it'll be select dash R bottom one and then I'll press enter and I'll just type in hide selected objects so now I have a script here that should create three cameras. It should select each camera and hide it one after another just at the click of a button. It'll create these cameras, put them exactly where they need to be positioned, and hide them. So I'll go ahead and copy this whole thing to make sure I don't lose it. And I'm going to go to File, New Scene, Don't Save. And then we'll go ahead and clear this here, make sure we don't have echo all commands turned on. And let's see exactly what happens. So we're in the perspective window here. We have our command set in, and I made sure I copied it so I don't lose this. It's copied to my clipboard. You can alternatively at this point also save it inside of a notepad, which I recommend before you run it. So I'll go ahead and come up here and I'll click play. So now I didn't see anything happen, but I did see that little section there pop up saying that something was hidden. So let's go to our outliner. Ah, I can see it's created a bottom, it's created a back and created a left, and it also hid them for me. So now if I select our custom viewport, it should work and it does. So there we have it. We have the left camera, the back camera, and the bottom camera. So now every time we create a new scene, we can just click a button and it'll create our three cameras for us and also hide them so we can make use of our custom view. So let's make this a button. We'll go ahead, come up here and we'll just go ahead and go to file and we'll save the script to the shelf. And we'll just call this camera create. And we'll just select OK. And now we have our new button. So let's go ahead and close out the script editor and just test it once more. We'll go to our perspective, select file, new scene, don't save. So we have a new scene. If I check the outliner, you can see there's no cameras. I'm going to select this camera create button. It's going to create our three cameras. And now I can go to our custom viewport and make use of it every time. So now that we're able to not just work with the top front and side view, but also work with the bottom back and left views, we'll go ahead and take a look at how we can take advantage of this extended view set to work on creating a much more complex object such as a foot. If you have any questions or comments, please post below the video on brainpoof.com and click subscribe to follow us on YouTube.